we are back. Back in Hogwarts. Let's see what other mischief can be managed or not managed. Um, and yeah. Let's just jump into it. Where were we? Lost child, Professor Weasley assignment, collect the field guide page from the book on intermediate. La, 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 la. Okay, where is that? Inside the library. Okay, where's the library? Library. Underground Harbor. How do I get in there? Couldn't bring up. What'd that do? I'm just now noticing these things. What? Can bring us. M N I O. I understand. Anything over here? Maybe we match them. I to I. Two, three, four. Uh, Sailor Moon symbol. Pyramid. Bottom of pyramid. One, two, three, four. I'm assuming each symbol has a corresponding. I don't know the order. Oh. Okay. M. Let's see. Sailor Moon is O. O and four is N. Okay, and then M and I. I. There we go. Random Hogwarts secret. The way to start off the video. What the fuck is that? Foam. Huh. Hello, mouse, rat, route mass. Look, Stan. Interesting. Okay. Well, I hope the unidentified item is... Yo, open. Let me out. Okay. Uh, 
Oh, these two do it too, huh? Push there for a second. <laughs> Incendio. I'm good. Collecting all the field guides, except for the ones <laughs> for this mission so far. It's okay. It's all right. We'll get there eventually. Where am I going? Heck, where is this taking me? Here? Yeah. Well, let me see what this is. Revelio. I'll build guide there. Oh. Lumos. What the heck is that? Statue of sorts. This far, can it? Oh, yeah, it can. There it is. like some dark mythology shit right here, right? I need two tokens to pay the, uh... Uh, to pay the boatman? The Grey Lady. I'd say hello, but she doesn't seem particularly social. Hmm. It's not. This foo. Okay. I'm 
am I doing? Just swim? I'll take a boat? Oh, that's all I had to do was get the, uh... <laughs> get the field guy. Duh. I gotta go get the other one. On... Select field guide from the book on intermediate transfiguration in the library. So I was already in the library, and I did these in reverse order. I could have gotten the other one first. Stupid. Okay. Alright, upstairs. Book Professor Weasley asked me to find should be around here somewhere. Okay. Rebellion. Looking for the book Intermediate Transfiguration. Yeah, how'd you know? Professor Weasley asked me to uh, get something from that book. May I have it? Did she now? I'll give you this book if you humor me by answering a few questions from my quiz. Quiz. Some people call bits of knowledge trivia. I would argue that no knowledge is trivial. Hence, I have created a small quiz, just for fun, focusing mainly on the lore of the wizarding world. None of the other students will try it, no matter how many times I ask. They all say they have enough with schoolwork. Ugh, they don't value knowledge the way I do. Surely you're interested. I'll even start you off with a few of my easiest questions. So you just hang around in this corner, just waiting for people to stop by so you can ask them your questions? Sure. A quiz sounds like fun. Splendid! Just a few questions and then I'll hand over this book. Let us begin. Before the invention of the Golden Snitch, which magical creature was used in the game of Quidditch? Uh... The Snigget. The Golden Snidget. Correct! The Snidget was first introduced to Quidditch in 1269 by a wizard named Barbarous Bragg. Sadly, they're thought to be extinct. Next question. Which potion is commonly referred to as liquid luck? Shiza. Liquid luck? Pepper up. Right. Felix Felicis? That one? Felix Felicis. Well done. Since it makes the drinker temporarily lucky, Felix Felicis is a banned substance in all organized competitions. The tale of the three brothers involves which magical artifacts? Uh, Deathly Hallows. The Deathly Hallows. Correct. According to Beedle the Bard, the Deathly Hallows consist of the Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone, and the Cloak of Invisibility. Which ball in Quidditch is the largest? Damn, I don't know. The Bludger. The Bludger. I'm sorry, but the correct answer was the Quaffle. Ball Chicago. Quaffle through one of three hoops in a Quidditch match, their team is awarded ten points. True or false? Polyjuice's potion allows the drinker to change species. Species? No, false. False. Correct. While Polyjuice Potion can be used to change things such as age or race, it cannot be used to change species. Well, I suppose this has gone on long enough. I'll put the book back on the pedestal now. If you're inclined to test your knowledge again, I have plenty more questions I could ask you. And I won't be giving you any more easy questions either. The next ones will be more difficult. Yeah, no, no. I, I'm sorry. I don't have time for a quiz at the moment. Let me know if you change your mind. I put the book back on the pedestal for you. Revelio ought to make quick work of this. Gee, thank you. That's the Weasley's tasks are complete. I should attend Transfiguration. Word. Uh. Uh. Still dark. 
Uh, wait. Yes. Asking Dunkeen is still all I hear. Thanks for being an utter waste of time. As you may be weary of hearing me say, is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But we needn't be daunted. Almost anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it. As I see in all of you, tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you. Or it could just be my eyesight. Wow. You all know what to do. That's amazing. Turn everything in my house into da 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 la bills, yo. What? And centipede. Okay. You wanted to discuss my progress so far this term, Professor. I did. You seem to have had no trouble in getting up to speed. And frankly, excelling in your schoolwork this year. Thank you, Professor. The extra assignments have been helpful. As I suspected they would be. Now, it seems you've been making good use of the opportunities presented by your field guide. Of course, the guide isn't the only measure of success. Deke tells me you captured a unicorn and brought it back to the room of requirement. Protecting so rare a beast is an accomplishment of which you can be quite proud. Thank you, Professor. I will say I'm especially impressed with all you've accomplished in light of the rumors of your extra no rumors. activities. No rumors. I, I, I would never. You extended conversation with Mr. Ollivander after you'd obtained your wand or subsequent search of the owlery connected in any way to Professor Fink? Psst, no. No. Not at all. Not at all. I, um, well, I enjoy talking to Mr. Ollivander. I'm fascinated by a wand law, and I'd never visited the owlery. Bit of a mess. <laughs> I see. I admire your penchant for learning, but do remember that your classwork and field guide are designed to educate you thoroughly. It'll be the end of the year in no time, and you'll want to be well prepared for your OWLs. I'll provide a final assessment at that time to ensure that you're ready for your exams. Until then, well done. You are dismissed. If you wish to practice the spell you just learned, the training dummy is available. See, at what point do I tell her that, yeah, Fig and I have been doing some, some shit, right? Like, when do I tell her that stuff? Um, what's I looking for? This one. Attention to my... Something dawned on me about the triptych. Meet me at the Overlook, just north of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll explain. <laughs> my plan with the helmet failed, but I have another idea. I think we may be able to find what we need at a goblin mine south of Hogwarts. Meet me there, and bring someone who speaks gobbledygook. Gobbledygook? I remember our meet mentioning something about gobbledygook. Hmm. Rebellion. 
Oh, seriously, I've never collected this guy? Dang. He often asks after you and his owls. Hello, Adelaide. How are you and your uncle doing? Very well, thanks to you. The more I learn about Ranrock's foul lot, the more astounded I am that my uncle survived. I looked back over his old owls and noticed that they included pertinent details about his rare metal deposits. I believe that Ranrock's feelings I do were not after those remember deposits, this chick. and that they needed my uncle's knowledge. He was willingly going to rot away in that cell to keep me safe. Oh, uh, this is the dude that was in the... What was he in the cell for? I don't remember. Any other pertinent details about those owls? Plenty. Uncle Roland couldn't be certain, but he thought he overheard goblins talking about infusing something into goblin silver. He wasn't sure what they meant, but something about the way they spoke of it made his skin cruel. Ugh, it's clear you saved my uncle from a very bad lot. It was nothing at all, Adelaide. I'm just glad your uncle's safe. So am I. Seeing him again was such a relief. I told him that he must remain vigilant from now on. I, for one, can't help but look over my shoulder now whenever I leave the castle grounds. Close enough. Yes. Move it. Anyone Revelio. <laughs> Hate that ghost. Hate that guy. Hello there. Hello there. Hello, I'll meet. Do I recall you saying that you speak gobbledygook? I did. I mean, I do. Speak it. Is this to do with the goblin I saw you with in Hogsmeade? It is. His name is Lodgok. We could use your help with something. He's waiting for me near a goblin mine. Would you be willing to help? Of course. How exciting. I mean, well, might this be dangerous? Yes, you're going to lose limbs in this one. He to show me something that involves gobbledygook. If it helps, he's a friend of Serona's. Good to hear. Good to hear. If Serona trusts him, then I feel much better. Uh, Lord Gok is waiting. Should we go? Of course. I just want to check the pronunciation of a couple of key terms first. So I will meet you there. Okay. Where is this mine? Oh, no wonder he wanted to meet me there. It's way the fuck down here. Sheesh. Okay, okay, okay. I wanted to get this thing while I'm out, uh, heading out there. Natty. Yeah. What am I doing? Yes. I am here. Is this Mr. Bickle's home? I believe so. He supposedly has evidence against Hallow. We need to speak with him. Nah, lead the way. Why did he challenge that horrible man? Oh. Was back to this person. Are you all right? We're looking for Mr. Bickle. My husband is dead. He killed him. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Mrs. Bickle. Who killed your husband? Theophilus Harlow. I'm sure of it. He's been threatening my husband for weeks and... Oh, 
Where is my son? Where is Archie? <laughs> to see the disgusted look on my face. Like, ugh, emotion? Ugh, sadness and fear? Ugh. Um. I don't mean to be grim, but could Harlow have taken him? Archie's satchel is missing, so he may have left on his own. Hopefully he's just gone wandering, as he's prone to do. I hope he wasn't here when Harlow... When my husband... Do you know which way Archie might have gone? <laughs> um, he has a little hideout in the forest south of here. He never wanders far. But if he witnessed Harlow doing something to his father... Uh, I'm afraid to leave in case he comes back home. <laughs> That's the expression you make when you're like, oh, she's going to want me to help, but I don't want to help, you know? You know, you've been in those situations where you're like, oh, you know, somebody that's like complaining all the time and you're like, oh, you're busy and you're, but you don't want to be kind of a dick, you know, you so you're like, fine, I'll help. Oh man, okay, whatever. Find your son, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. What am I going to do? That weird lip clenched half a smirk that is like worry, Mrs. Bickle. you just don't know how to be expressive to him. When I took the letter we found to Officer Singer, she told me about Mr. Bickle. He had been doing the same thing we are, providing Officer Singer with evidence to take down Harlow. I had hoped to speak with him about what he had found, but we were too late. What did Officer Singer say about the letter you brought her? She thanked me, but she clearly felt that it was not enough. It is a shame that hippogriffs cannot speak. Your friend Highwing could provide all the evidence against Harlow that we need. We will need something more. True. This must true. be little Archie's hideout that Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Archie? Archie Bickle! I know I've been here he before, right? To his own hideout. Someone came here looking for him. He's missing the E but on welcome. Maybe our only hope of finding out which way he went. What am I doing? Trying to find clues or something? I can't go in here. I if that's an actual dragon or so that's cool. by now i suspect he'll keep running if he's being followed if it is hollow that's pursuing him i only hope you're right was i not paying attention or something how is we must find archie quickly how are we able to track his footprints do you like step through some magic dust or some shit moonstone In mongrels. In mongrels. Ow, ow. Ah! Fuck. Can't see him. Can I transfigure his ass? Yes, I can. Ah, fuck. I hope Archie didn't 
a path with that wolf pack. Probably did. All shredded. Revelio. Oh, there's a satchel. Archie satchel. Why would he leave it behind? He was likely running from Harlem, distracted. This may be a good time for Revelio again. Archie went this way. I have a bad feeling about this. Harlem must have a reason for pursuing Archie. I wonder what Archie saw. I hope he didn't see Harlow kill his father. He would never overcome it. At least not in any way I can imagine. A fork in the road. We will need Revelio again. Revelio. Multiple sets of footprints. Oh, Harlow caught up to him here. This is not good. Hurry up, Natty. This way. <sighs> so he was, he was captured here? Thestrals. They are beautiful, are they not? Oh. You can see Thestrals too. I witnessed death when I was nine, saw my first Thestral shortly thereafter. I found comfort in it. I still do. I think those of us who have witnessed death deserve some comfort. That's a big moonstone. I'm sorry you experienced something like that at so young an age. I was with my father when he died. My mother was away, and I felt quite helpless. All right, yep, yeah, Addy. It was a long time ago in some ways, but in other ways... Stop talking and just come on. I still see him so clearly. You must miss him. My father was a wonderful. What are you doing? Let's go. Let us keep moving. Yeah, let's we must find Archie. Run and talk. Come on, run and talk. Revelio. Okay. A holes. A holes here. Oh, wrong one. Oh, shit. You, dude. Fuck you. Fuck. Knew you were still hanging. Are you even trying? Yeah, do fucking wrong one. Wrong guy. This guy. Shit. Very good. Oh, I just wanna see what was over there. Quick. expect this tent to be so large on the inside that right. complicates things a little
Revelio. Fuck you, chicken. Sorry, kid. Hold on one second. I think I missed something. Or does it not matter which way I go down? Maybe it doesn't matter. Or maybe it does, and this is just kind of a dead end. Nope, you're gonna die. You're gonna die down there, kid. Bickle. How do you know who I am? Your mother sent us to find you. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Because you look like a Bickle. Sorry. We need to get this open. Good thing it's a level one lock. Hello, Hamora.
Easy. Come on. A man called Harlow. He killed my father. We're so sorry, Archie. We won't let him get away with it. But first, we need to get you home to your mother. Thank you for saving me. We wouldn't have it any other way, Archie. Now let's get you home. We know a safe way back. about them which friends darling mr and mrs raid mr filbert and i think they also said otto's name oh i shall speak with them you run inside yes mother your husband's friends may be in danger just as he was how can we help you've done enough my husband was a powerful wizard and couldn't defeat Harlow. The last thing we need is that monster coming after you. He's already after me. <laughs> yeah, he's already after me. It may be too late for that. I'm afraid Harlow's already after us. Then you needn't anger him further. I assure you, the threat could be a lot worse. Please, please keep your distance. I'm sorry again about your husband, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. And thank you for bringing Archie home. I can never repay the two of you for your kindness. Not to worry, Mrs. Bickel. My father used to say that rain does not fall on one roof alone. We are here to help each other. I must learn more about Mr. Bickel's friends and why Harlow is after them. You'll be hearing from me as soon as I know something. <laughs> why am I standing like that? I do hate to ask, but... Would you be able to help me? No. I'm going the right way, right? Oh. I'm not going to run through that, so... A handy dandy broom. Oh, while I'm here, might as well get the balloons. see anything light up. It seems like it leads this way. I should investigate. Oh, did I already roll this down here? <laughs> did I roll that down here at some point and was like, fuck, don't, uh, I don't know what to do, so I got mad? Or I ran out of mallow sweet or something? You saw that, right? That the ball was totally down there already, and now it's gone. Uh, 
Revelio. And it's getting worse. There she is. There if it there's is. There's any chance that the relic from Slytherin's spellbook can help her, I must find it. I'm requesting your help. Meet me outside of Feldcroft, near the catacomb. The Pulsar. Yeah, I think maybe I was over here at one point and I rolled this down just for the giggles. Because I didn't have any malice wheat. Go, baby, go. Go, baby, go. 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 Keep going. I was afraid that might throw it too far, but Charles won't get the best of me. Running. I am running. Man, look how quick I run uphill. Be getting winded run, running up some stairs. Yes. A friend who speaks gobbledygook is meeting us. Before he arrives, perhaps you could tell me why we're here? Of course. Unfortunately, presenting Ranrock with the helmet of Earthgot did not have the effect I'd hoped. Because he knew the details surrounding its plunder, he presumed I'd had help from a witch or wizard in retrieving it. Mm. How else did he expect Goblin Kind to get the helmet back? Seems he has no interest in making amends with you. I'm afraid we do not have the luxury of rational expectation when it comes to Ranrock. Damn Bragbor and his blasted journals. Bragbor? An ancestor of Ranrock's, renowned metal worker. If we are to work together, I suppose I must tell you more. Not long ago, Ranrock sent me to collect a recently unearthed set of Bragbor's journals. They described repositories that Bragbor had been commissioned to build for a group of witches and wizards. What do you mean, repositories? Large, magically fortified receptacles crafted from goblin metal. Ranrock recruited others to help me locate the repositories. We were to search anywhere that was connected to five names mentioned in the journals. Rackham, Fitzgerald, Bacar, Morganock, and Rookwood. A good castle. That is where we began our search. Why does Ranrock care so much about these repositories? He cares about what they contain. For centuries, wizards have refused to share their magical knowledge with goblins. <laughs> Your kind will not even let us carry wands. Thus, many goblins, myself included, have spent our lives mistrusting wizard kind. Ranrock was convinced that the repositories contained a magical power that wizards wanted to keep for themselves. He was, is, determined to take it for goblin kind. But he's... Here comes my friend Armit. Probably best to continue our conversation later. Greetings, Lord Gok. It is an honor, sir. You speak gobbledygook. <laughs> oh, Bagalio. Enough. Please do not tell me that was meant to be gobbledygook. I, um, uh, well, yes. Perhaps my pronunciation was a bit off. I imagine certain dialects differ. Pronunciation is not the issue. I barely recognize that as language. <laughs> I trust you can read gobbledygook better than you can speak it? I can, Sir Lodgok. Just Lodgok. Thankfully, we only need someone who can decipher written plans, since I cannot join you in the mine. What written plans? And why can't you come with us? We need some idea of what Ranrock knows or is plotting. I suspect a careless loyalist may have left plans behind. And I'm unable to join you because I cannot risk anyone reporting my presence to Ranrock. All you need to do is not be seen. Either by the eye above the enchanted door or a loitering loyalist. Okay. Let's be sneaky sneak. I will await your return. 
I mean, I can do this. I don't know about a meat. I shall see you soon. He seems a bit tender. is looking at us. Books so rarely prepare one for reality. A real goblin mine. It's even grander than I had expected. I cannot believe I met a goblin. Let's just learn what we can and get out. Yeah, Look at me this lift. Me it's you're gonna keep work. talking the it's entire time. Shut your face. Impressive workmanship aside, it's the only way forward. These machines operate on steam. Interesting. It's a steam. Oops. Oops. I still can't believe we're inside a real goblin mine. I've read about mines like this, but seeing a meat, shut up. Focusing here. Goblins are as friendly as Lodgog, to say the least. Right, 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 right. Oh a little sneaky sneak here. A little closer. So I can uh, blow the shit out of him. Watch your step round here. Uh, that. Boom. And then. Boom. And then. Boom. Through his safety, I'll meet. You have my word. No, okay. You're being watched by a door. Right. Don't wish to be seen, do we? I feel like a character from one of the adventure books I read during the summer holidays. What's the, uh... 
Dopinder. <laughs> Dopinder from Deadpool. That's who Amit is, man. He's got the same character. Same comments. He's seeking adventure, but he's totally not one that can handle adventure. I want to become a contract killer. I'm sorry. What did you say? Oh, fool picture me. A 10-year-old Kirsten Dunst. I will get to the bottom of what they've been building down here. Well, that is way that way. Is there something upstairs first before I... Sure thing, Dupinder. We got this. Okay. 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 So I just wrap. Here. A transformer. Oh, one, two, three. Six guys in here. Quite a few of them. My life a little easier. No real easy way to go about this, I guess. But then to just open up.
Ow. Boom! Good teamwork there, the Pinder. Stay close. I've handled much worse. Another boiler. This place is more complex than I had expected. Incendio. <laughs> Another schematic. What are they going to build? This mine is too small for whatever it is. I guess that puts it into a little perspective there, huh? No other reason to come back here? Okay. A little lame. Zoom, zoom, zoom. zoom in. Uh, what is this? Is there something here? What's going on? Moonstones. This devil snare. Ow, 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 fuck you. Entanglement we need right now. Bit me. I wanted to make some potions for whatever final boss or group of goblins there's going to be. Quite a few there. And there. And there. 
And there. Fuck. Fuck that one up. I'm not gonna lie, Curcio is a shit, man. You, dude. Oh, shoot me. How many of them are there? That yeah, should be the seriously, last like moment. fuck Nance, man. Don't lie to him and tell him that there's that's the last of them. No, we're gonna go into another room. There's just gonna be another horde of them. not light something on fire? What's going on here? Lift there. That is a big drill. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's a big drill.
need a moment to catch my breath. This was more than I bargained for. I'm glad you came with me, Amit. Now that we know what they're up to, we can get out of here. Can we, though? I feel like... There's gonna be one more battle, right? Or not, we're already here, right? I don't remember. Maybe not. Let's wrap around. Oh no, level two lock. Some bitch. I have not been on collecting those moons whatsoever. Oh well. Of here, meat. Look, the lift. Welcome sight indeed. Oh, blimey. That was all of it. Um, can we please talk about what just happened? That wasn't so bad, was it? It was. It really was. <laughs> I'm afraid I've had enough adventure for one day. For a lifetime, perhaps. No worries, Defender. I couldn't have done it without you. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to have a word with Lodgok. Understood? I'll leave you to it. Your goblin secrets are safe with me, but I get to write the book about this escapade someday. Without further ado, at you. Gesundheit. They're building enormous drills. We found their plans. Ranrock must be searching for the repositories. I fear you are correct. Other than Rookwood Castle, however, I do not know where else he plans to search. I've been wondering about something else you said before we entered the mine. Yes? If you share Ranrock's views, then why are you helping me? I expected Rookwood Castle to be deserted when I arrived to begin my search. So was surprised to find a witch there who had set up a sort of improvised research site. She was studying something so intently that she almost didn't notice me. When she looked up, I thought she would react with fear or disdain. But instead, she did something that I will never forget. Without a moment's hesitation, she smiled and asked me to sit with her. She told me that she was a researcher and showed me a small, oddly shaped container with a strange symbol on it. She was certain it was made of goblin metal but was unable to open it. She wanted to work together. Miriam. Yes, but how did you- Professor Fig's wife. He told me of her research, and I know of the container. Ah. The reverence with which she talked of goblins and their intelligence and skill, it caught me entirely off guard. I'd never been treated with such respect by a witch or wizard. So, to my surprise, I let her study the container if she would allow me to search the castle on my own. We parted ways, with her promising to share what she'd learned. More of Ranrock's recruits arrived, and we began to dig, eventually locating the first repository. Ranrock was thrilled with our discovery, but furious when I told him about Miriam. Berated me for trusting a witch, and I heard she'd been killed. You think Ranrock murdered her? I don't want to believe it, but I don't know. 
After that, something shifted in me. I had seen how the power from the repositories was transforming Ranrock, transforming all of them. I could no longer relay a part of it. Thank you, Lord Gok, for telling me this. I tell you all of this so that you understand what is at stake. <sighs> Ranrock never found all of Bragbor's journals, but the ones he did find suggest that Bragbor, at some point, built a repository far greater in size than the one beneath Rookwood Castle. What you've discovered here today worries me deeply. If Ranrock learns of the location of that repository, I fear we shall be destined for a great war. I will find out what Ranrock knows. Watch for my owl. would like to speak with me. I believe she has learned about some of what we've been up to. I'm hoping she may be easier on me if you are there. Damn. Whoever the voice actor for her. Love God. The the goblin. Man, that got that, that got tense, right? That that drama, man. The like his voice just drew me into that scene. Oof. Good job, dude. Good job. You didn't have to go that hard, and you did. For us. I felt the emotion. I felt the transformation when he, like, met Miriam. And the betrayal of when he discovered that she was killed by one of his own. Man, that was deep. Good shit. Alright. I think... With that, that is a good place to, to end the video here. Uh, I hope you're enjoying it, guys. Uh, I, I think it is getting better, right? Um, as we play the game. I mean, just that scene just gets me excited for the next kind of adventures to go on. But uh, wherever you guys are in the world, um, drop a like. Follow, leave a comment. I truly would like to, to hear what you guys think. Um, what you're feeling about this. I mean, good and the bad. Um, but otherwise, wherever you're in the world, have a good day, have a good night, take care of yourselves, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks, guys.